in our local district office, we have nine. Uh, and from that team of nine, or in addition to that team, we have a host of resource partners, other organizations that are funded in part by the SBA. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking of the small business development centers. There are like 16 of those centers all around the, the state. There's one on the campus of Wichita State University, yeah. uh, and they're mostly housed on the campus of universities. And what do they do? All right. What they do is they do mentoring, uh, counseling, training sessions. Right now, they're doing a lot of webinars. Uh, we're, all of us have had to work uh, virtually for the most part, so webinars and, 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 and also small group meetings, you know, with individuals and, and uh, uh, you know, smaller uh, meetings with stakeholders, that kind of thing. So we're doing a lot of those virtual meetings uh, at the moment. And that's SBDC. C. Yeah, the Small Business Development Center. Yep. And you always you also have SCORE. And we have SCORE. That's right. Uh, SCORE, uh, at one time, that was an acronym that stood for Service Corps of Retired Executives. Now uh, they've dropped that because not all of their members are retired. Mm -hmm. So they go by SCORE, Counselors to America's Small Business. So yeah, SCORE is another uh, resource partner funded in part by the SBA. And then we have uh, two other groups, Women's business centers that are that are all throughout the country. Closest women's business center is in uh, Kansas City, in the Kansas City, Kansas area. And then uh, we have veterans resource centers that are also funded by the SBA. And the closest center to us, which covers Kansas, is in St. Louis. Awesome. So the Women's Business Center, what does that do exactly? So they have a focus on uh, the, their mission is about helping women in business, um, you know, women uh, who want to go into business, who are entrepreneurs and perhaps are having trouble, you know, connecting the dots, needing to know, you know, uh, what resources to go to. And often uh, there, there are situations where individuals are more comfortable going to a women's business center mm -hmm. than they might be going to the SBA or one of these other partners. Uh, likewise, with the Veterans Resource Centers, they're specifically uh, in place to serve veterans and those service members that as they transition out, they want to start a business. That's really kind of the first place they ought to go to because often the staff there are former veterans themselves. You know, they, they, they speak the language, they understand the stage that the individual's in, and, and they can kind of help them, help them get to eventually the SBA resources and the other things that they need. So does it matter where uh, an organization or an individual is in their um, uh, lifespan, if they're just thinking about uh, starting a business or if they're, um, you know, mid-size or if they have 100 employees? Does it matter uh, to come use these? Um no, no, no. That's a great, great question. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. They could be starting. They could be thinking of starting. They could be looking Often uh, there's a situation where there's an existing business that maybe they want to sell mm. uh, or they're looking, it could be a family business that they're trying <clears throat> to really formalize a succession plan, you know, for that business. So there are all kinds of scenarios that come up and there's really no wrong, by the way, there's no wrong door in terms of the resource they start with. They could start with any of these partners and eventually the partners, they work together, they work with us. And we're going to get them to the right place if they're at a stage where they're ready to access capital. Um, you know, then we can we can visit with them as SBA staff uh, and and direct them to maybe a lending partner mm -hmm. or another funding source. Um, and if they need technical assistance, the groups that are best with technical assistance are going to be SCORE and the Small Business Development Centers. Th those. Folks, I mean, that's what they do. They they work one on one with individuals. They look at countless uh, business plans. They look at financials. They they thoroughly understand financials. They're familiar with certain sectors, and uh, and so those are those are going to be the best resources to to work with in terms of SBA resources when you're dealing with a live situation and and I'm trying to you're you're trying to make a decision to purchase a facility or to purchase equipment or to expand in a particular territory, you know, these are that's the right those are the two resources that are probably best to bounce, you know, these uh, decisions off of and and to give you good guidance. <laughs> 